Hey, you guys. Do you guys want a backyard tour? We've been working on our backyard about a year and it's finally done and it's ready to give you guys a tour. I can't wait to show you. Welcome to my backyard. Let me tell you a little bit about how it looked before we started renovating it. When we bought the house, the house had several layers in the backyard that went down to a creek. In order to get out of the basement, you would have to walk up a steep incline of dirt, which wasn't really great. We have a lot of snow, and so the snow would just take the dirt and kind of make a mud pile at the base of the door. The house also had a deck with a pergola over it, which was a nice size, but the base of the pergola only went to the first tier of ground. So what we decided to do was to start completely over and we dug out all of the dirt so there were no more layers and it is now one level. Here is the deck now and instead of ending right here where the old one went, this one goes all the way down to the base level and the backyard is now all one level which is great because the kids don't have to have like four or five feet of playing space and then have to crawl down a wall of rock to get to the next level so we reused all of the rock for one instead of having lots of little rock walls we just have one massive rock wall and that's that's what I'm standing on right now here is the new walkout in the basement so you can walk out this side or this side. We have two walkout areas in the basement and a usable patio space now. And right here where there used to be a rock wall that went all the way up um, and then right here where you would walk out and up into the daylight, now it's just we've got more usable space. This is probably my favorite place right here are these hanging egg chairs. The whole point of us redoing the backyard was to have a living space for a very large family or if we ever have guests come over. Mainly because we're anticipating having in-laws and grandkids and eventually great grandkids. The more seating, the better. I didn't want to have to pull out chairs and set up places to sit and eat. When people come over, I just want it to already be ready. So this little nook is really a fun nook for, I don't know, I imagine little kids sitting here one day and eating ice cream cones. We've got some flowers, some rose bushes. See how pretty these roses are. And all of this sitting area. The vine that we have ordered that will grow up and cover this has not been available for a year. Anyone who's building and putting in a yard knows that there is a shortage in products. So I started filming on this side of the yard and now I'm on this side. And this side you can see goes, uh, dips down into the backyard as well. We thought it would be really pretty as we reuse the rock to plant this crawling Jenny. And it is just so beautiful. It started off as just this little plant, just maybe half the size of my fist and we just planted it in these little corners. And now that it's been a full year, they have just really grown in. They're just cover the rocks cascading down. It's just so pretty. It just really softens this rock staircase. So here I am on the other side of the yard and giving you a view of what this looks like. We planted some bushes up here on this tall wall and these trees will continue to mature. So eventually, there really won't be much of this fence to see. It'll be all covered in green. I absolutely love this view right here. We've got our shed. It looks like a playhouse, but it's a shed. It's got these roses here and I can see the kids playing over here on the hammocks. The hammocks was an important part of this yard because it's always the kids' favorite. They just can lay in here and listen to the creek. It's that size of hummingbird right there. A couple days ago we saw a tiny little brown one. 
Yep, so we get hummingbirds. There's our hummingbird feeder. But if you lay just right in this one, you can look at the creek. And this creek is really sad right now. Usually it's quite full. It goes to about right here, um, but it's only about a foot deep right now, six inches to a foot deep. Rocks are showing all on the bottom. This is because Utah is in a drought right now. It's hardly even flowing. It's just so sad. Usually I don't like Dad's hot dogs, but these are really <laughs> good. No offense, Dad. Ugh. They have nothing to do with Dad. He just warms them up. Okay, so now I'm in the middle of the backyard back here. And the most important thing that we wanted in the backyard, one, was the seating. Two, we wanted a kitchen, an optional place to cook in case we ever needed additional places to cook. And also so we can entertain our guests as we cook. So we put in a pizza oven and then we have this great place to hold up all the logs. What's great about this is as this produces ash and coals, we can take those hot coals and put them in the bottom, just this little box and then you can put a Dutch oven right on top of it. And if you ever wanted to cook pancakes by coal, you can put a big, long cast iron skillet on there and cook up pancakes and eggs. It's just a great outdoor cooking spot for like emergency cooking if we ever needed it. And then we have our Traeger that we cook all kinds of meat and fish and fun things. And then some storage space a small range and then the grill and then this massive kitchen table it's massive it's huge so we did it really tall so that you could stand up and have a meeting lots of people just we find ourselves just standing around the table and talking but you can also sit on these high lifted up bar stools and we love to have dinner out here we did the countertops in cement so we just come out here Oh, it's slate? Oh, it's not cement. Park City slate. Park City slate. Oh. Behind the kitchen, we have these flowers. These are called hibiscus flowers. And it really looks um, like something you would see in Hawaii. There's like the, these blooms are the size of my face. They're enormous. We planted this tree right here. This is a, this is a maple tree. Our backyard just has such a really good welcoming feel to it. Some of our pictures you've seen have been taken from this really, really large tree. I think this is a box elder tree, only because we get a ton of box elder bugs it. from it. But it is enormous. It's probably been here for, I don't know, 60, 70 years. So when we dug out the yard, we got to here and we would kill the tree if we went all the way and I mean it just cuts it right off right and so what we did was we just built a little wall around the tree and a swing under it Kevin why don't you show us one of your favorite places in the backyard this is my thinking spot this access to the creek used to go all the way across our backyard but we didn't want access to the creek all across the backyard and said we wanted it in one spot and I didn't want water down here meaning like sprinklers because that's caused problems in the past with boulders getting washed into the creek and stuff and so oh, right there's so there's no sprinklers down here when you open the gate you have some steps that you step down and now you have full access to the to the creek so the kids can climb down and and put their feet into the creek and look at the fish and they can look at the fish you can go to the left um, walk down the stairs walk down the stairs and then sit on the fire pit or sit around the fire pit and listen to the fire or look at the fire i mean as you're looking at the creek and then you can go to the right and sit right here so we're in such a bad drought right now that this creek is as low as I've ever seen it. 
I mean, we've lived in Springville for a long time. I've never seen the creek this low. We so see elk up here. Yeah. There's, um, this is a horse pasture, so we see horses up there. Um, we see deer down here a lot. We see ducks down here. We see bunnies, we see um, marmots, Whoa. squirrels. So you can see how the fence divides the river part. Oh, look at that sunflower from our living part. And the reason we did that was so when we have little kids running around, they cannot get access to the water without us unlocking the gate. Back up in the yard, this sandbox was something that Kevin was really excited about and I'm still not sure. I'm, it just feels like a big cat litter box, but I'm sure when I have some grandkids playing with their little trucks in here, I'll change my tune. The kids do like to play games here. They'll play bocce ball. It's a really great bocce ball setup. Um, spike ball spike and ball, what? Cross net. Cross net. Yeah, it's a really jam, jam. good play field. And all around the sandbox, we have hostas and there's a few plants that we have planted that have died that we will be replacing, but it's just a really beautiful setup. Where are the grapes going to go? Up on that fence where it's sunny all day. Okay, so the grapes will be on this fence. That'll be nice because then it'll block the cars, which aren't the prettiest things to look at. Peach tree here and a peach tree here, a peach tree here and a peach tree there. Oh, that'll be nice. Mm -hmm. They were all out. <laughs> Can you believe peach trees are out? So this will fill in. Over the years, it'll start to get more green. Right now it's not so green, but it will grow that way. So you can see before we redid this backyard, there was a shed right here that was blocking. And we've since taken that shed out. We do have a generator. So thank goodness if the power ever goes out, we have a commercial generator that will power the entire house, which is awesome. And we put a cute shed over here in the corner, right in front of our fire pit. This is a extremely long fire pit. We can fit like, I think we've fit like 40 people around this before. It just fits tons and tons of people. Inside the shed, you guys, we need to organize this, but we've got supplies and, you know, yard work stuff, camping gear. As you can see, we have our backpacking gear, 72 hour kits, stuff like that. Beekeeping supplies. Beekeeping supplies? Yes. We have bees. Behind the shed and by the water, we have our bees. We have, I don't know, about a hundred thousand bees right now. And these crates are full of honey. To think going into Costco to buy like a two pound thing of honey is about $20, $23. We probably, we probably have a couple thousand dollars worth of honey right now. Just in these and the honey, honey never goes bad. Did you know that? That honey never goes bad. There's honey that's still been around from the time of the Egyptians and it's still good. There is one thing that I have learned over the last couple of years and it is families need a place to go for safety. Families need a place to go where they know they are loved. You know, when COVID shut everything down, the only place we could go was our backyard. And at that time, there was no backyard. You're right. There was no backyard. It was, it was just, um, it was a mud hole. We appreciate the backyard so much more now and just want to spend years and decades back here. What was your favorite part of our backyard? <laughs>